Okay, so today um, I'm going to film a massive haul. This is my second time filming this video. It's so frustrating. But <laughs> the last one was like literally an hour long. And I really was trying to upload it and it wouldn't work. So here we go again. Um, and I thought I'd fix a few mistakes I made in the last one because I talked too, way too much. So let's just get into it. It's mostly beauty things. And yeah, so let's just get started. There's most of the stuff I got is from the makeup store. It's a Swedish makeup company um, based out of Sweden, obviously. And um, they have one in Australia and probably all over Europe. But they only had one in the US and it was in Denver, which doesn't make any sense. It should have been in LA or New York, but they put it in Denver. Anyways, it's closing because it didn't do very well. So they had like 60, 70% off, 50% off. Like it was crazy. So I went nuts. Um, I never really buy makeup like this. So I just decided to go all out. So let's just get started. Um, and I went to MAC and I got a few things there too and Sephora. So it's just a massive beauty haul. Like this bag is literally filled to the top. It's a makeup store bag because I just decided to put everything mostly in the bag. Anyway, so let's just get started, shall we? Hmm. Alright, so from the makeup store I got a daytime cream. It's um, the makeup store skincare system. It's a really nice moisturizer. I felt it on my hands so I decided to buy two of those. Um, I got their tinted day cream in light. Um, it's a tinted moisturizer or like a BB cream kind of. And I really liked it on my hand as well. So I got that and I'll be doing tutorials with all of this stuff, inshallah. So yeah. Um, I got two of their brush cleaners because the girl that worked there, her name's Mel. She's so sweet. Anyway, she told me they're amazing and they were only five bucks each. So I got two of those. This is another um, moisturizer. I got this amazing brush, it's number 116, I'm obsessed, it's just like the perfect brush for setting your under eye concealer with, just nice and fluffy. I got this crease brush, it's number 109, and it's just a dense dome crease brush. I got this amazing iridescent pink loose um, blush, it's called the Wonder Blush. It's in the shade Goddess. It's just super pretty. It's just a super pretty blush. So that's a swatch of Goddess, the blush. It's a really pretty pink blush with a little shimmer. Hopefully it's showing up. I got a ton of their eyeshadows. This one's in my Maasai and it's called a Micro Shadow. Just the perfect um, crease shade. This one's in, um, a blush. It's called Sugar Muffin. It's also really shimmery. This is um, another micro shadow. It's called Kaka. Just a matte brown eyeshadow. This is a blush and it's called Shimmer Dynasty and it's so beautiful. It's like the color of the year, the orchid color of the year. It's like purplish, pinky, pinkish. Um, purplish pink. <laughs> it's got gold flecks. Then um, this is a micro shadow in Bohem. Just a really pretty matte um, purple. <laughs> And the, the shadows and everything is just so pigmented. So the prices are regularly like MAC prices. That's why I think it didn't do so well because it wasn't MAC. And they were really expensive and nobody really knew about it. Because it was in a part of the mall where people don't really go unless they're just walking out. So I don't know. I went in there all the time because I love um, their products. They're just a little pricey. But because I worked at the mall, they gave me a discount already. And that's where I get all my um, glitter loose glitters that I do in my videos from so they have really amazing stuff so that's why I kind of went ham um, when I found out they were on sale so this is a blush in lust it's called lust it's like a shimmery peachy color it looks like NARS orgasm that's why I got it because I love NARS orgasm but I've never bought it before I put it on everyone when they come in but I've just never bought it myself this is a micro shadow called dry lake it's like a really pretty shimmery taupe color. I got an eye dust in Hot. And that's called Hot. Then I got one in Sparkle. So these are loose pigments but extremely finely milled. That's what's like unique about them. Like they're so finely milled it's crazy. They're really messy too. And then this is a micro shadow called 
Saga? Sega? Saga? It's just a nice matte, um, it's like bamboo by MAC, pretty much. I also got the Wonder Powder and I got it in two shades. Um, one in, in Sahara and the other is in Kalahari. And they're extremely finely milled, um, loose powders, but they're shimmery, very iridescent. Um, they're really messy, so I'm not going to swatch those right now because they look really similar. But they're, they remind me of Hourglass, except loose. Like this ambient lighting palette, but because it's really pretty to like set under the eye concealer with, and it's just like a really pretty highlight and to brighten up your face. So I'm extremely excited about those. And look how much product you get. And I'm pretty sure I got these for like ten dollars, ten or fifteen. But, and they're normally like I think thirty or something like that. And then I got this really interesting thing. It's like it's aqua cooling powder. Um, it's a concentrated glacier water mineral and it's supposed to help cool and hydrate the skin. It comes with a really pretty br brush and uh, it's like a tacky substance. It's weird, but I'm really excited to try that This out. is really awesome. It's, uh, it's called a high-tech highlighter. High-tech lighter. Um, it's a liquid highlighter. It's in the shade Venus. It's like this really pretty peachy, I don't know if you can see that. Oh. It looks like NARS Orgasm again, but like in a highlighter form, but even prettier. Like it's peaky, pinky, peachy, but it's just a really pretty subtle highlighter. Another matte um, brown eyeshadow, and this is called Ghetto. Ooh. Top just fell off. Then I got a studio foundation. This is in the shade Ultra. It's really high coverage. Yeah, yeah. Um, full coverage foundation, super creamy, very hydrating, which I need when I'm in Colorado. But when I'm in a humid climate, I get oily, so I feel for you oily gals because I'm pretty sure I'm oily it's just because I live in Colorado probably, and I'm dry here. And then this is another micro shadow and sophisticated, another matte brown. They're all different, I promise, when you put them next to each other. This is another um, eye dust, and it's in the shade Dream. This is just a little really, really pretty maroonish pink. Then I got um, eyelash scissors and a heated lash curler because it was five bucks, and I was just like, why not? I need. I've always wanted to try a heated eyelash curler, so. I'm really excited about that. Um, I got a lipstick, and this is in the shade Cute. And it's a really pretty nude. That's what it looks like. And then I got another lipstick. This is like a gold tube for some reason. I don't know. It must have been a limited edition or something. But this is called Mauve Berry, and it's just like a berry mauve. It's like the perfect name for it. Oh my god, I got so much stuff. This is going to be such a long video. I'm so sorry. Um, this is a micro shadow in Desert. Kind of looks like Orb by MAC. And this is a micro shadow called Volga. And it's like the blue... The blue... I don't know what it's called. Blue Brown Pigment by MAC. I don't know if you can see... Then I got another blush. This is in the shade Power. It's just like a nice nude. Uh, it's not really coming up on camera. How it looks. I don't know. It's really pretty. Old Lace. It's another micro shadow. Eyeshadow. One of their foundation. Another one of their foundations. This is the liquid. And the other one's like a cream. Um, it's a water based liquid foundation. Contains vitamin A, D, and E. It's good for like. It's a sheer foundation I don't know I put it on in the store and it was beautiful so I got the shade ivory because I think that yeah it's yellow based so I don't know I hope that's the right shade that I wanted then the girl that was working there was so sweet she I wanted these two pigments but they sold out of them already so she just gave me the rest that was in the ones the tester ones um, and that was really sweet of her. 
So I got those as like sample. I got a really pr pretty glitter, but I don't want to open it because it's so messy. It's called Luna. It's like all different types of blues. I can't wait to do a, a look on it. I'm going to do one soon, maybe tomorrow because I'm feeling, you know, extra dramatic. I got some of their lip liners. This is Nude Beauty and this is Natural. They look very similar, I know. Um, th and that I also got wood. It's another nudish color. I got. I'm just gonna start doing randomly since uh, uh, most of the other makeup store stuff is at the bottom of the bag. Um, so at Sephora, I got the Dior Air Flash Foundation in shade 201, which is my normal shade, and then my tan shade is the number. 300 so I got two of those um, one I got in gratis and the other one I bought myself this one is the Sephora version of it and it's amazing okay so those you can't like spray on your face directly because it just shoots out and it'll get like in your hair and everything but the Sephora one only comes in four shades it's it's so finely misted it's like like I can just spray my face you know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm in the shade light. It oxidizes a little bit on your skin. So if you're kind of like fair like me, like NC25 MAC type deal, um, I would try the light. It's amazing. It's like 20, 22, 26. I'm not sure. <laughs> Something like that. But it's awesome. It's a matte finish. Um, it's very fine. It's beautiful on your face during summertime. It's really light. You can build it. It's just an amazing foundation. Shout out to Alex, my coworker. She's like been wearing that forever and she kept telling me to try it and I'd be like, no, 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 I can't imagine it would look good. And I tried it and it's one of my favorite foundations. So, thank you, Alex. So, then I, um, this is another micro shadow and myth. The light's washing it out, but that's what it looks like, that shade <laughs> with a little sparkle in it. Then another micro shadow in brown sugar. You guys are probably thinking these all look the same, but I promise they don't. That one's really pretty, just for like all over the I room. finally got this Sonia Keshek um, Warm Tan Bronzer. It's a cream bronzer, so a lot of people say it's a dupe for the Chanel one that everyone hypes about. It's like cream. Anyways, I'm wearing this today and I'm freaking loving it. It's amazing. So. To all my ladies that love Sonia Keshek, here's another <laughs> amazing product by her. I love all her stuff. I don't think I have anything bad to say about anything of hers, which I bought like a million of her brushes. Like this one I just got too, by the way. Um, it's like a synthetic fiber brush. And then these are my favorite brushes in the whole wide world, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they are. Um, these are the Sonia Keshek number 109 fluffy crease brushes. I have like maybe 10 of them. No joke. I love them so much. If you, um, this is pretty much what I carry in my brush belt is like 10 of these. Like I can do a smoky eye with just this one brush and maybe a flat shader brush, but mainly that's all I use. Like if you see in my videos, all I use is those fluffy crease brushes. So I love all her stuff. So I really am loving this. And I got the shade warm tan. It was really hard to find that one because then there's one darker and that's just really dark, but it blends beautifully. It's a really soft, creamy bronzer. I don't know. It's nice. I'm obsessed with it. So, got that. Obviously, another one of those dome crease brushes that I'm obsessed with. Um, also, New Keshek's products are amazing. If this is, video isn't sponsored, like I'm just really obsessed with all her stuff. Um, I've got three... Three NARS eyeliners, by the way, NARS eyeliners are the, the bomb.com, okay? They make your makeup look like money, okay? Because they stay on the waterline. You look like these are the only eyeliners that I can say truly stay on the waterline. Anyway, so I got the Santa Monica Boulevard, which is white one. Um, Via Venito, I don't know how to say that one. That's the black one. And then Rue Bonaparte, which is... A nude one, which I love wearing nude and white during the summertime. I don't know, just gives you a nice, bright, soft look. So those are amazing. 
Um, I got the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser because it's what I clean all my brushes with. I love this stuff. I will do a video on how I clean my brushes later. I finally broke down and got the MAC Painterly Paint Pot Pro Long Wear one. And everybody knows what that looks like. So that's just that. Hopefully I like it. If not, I will return that bad boy because, I don't know, everyone hypes it up. So I was like, I gotta try this. This is an amazing lip gloss by the makeup store. Um, it is in this shade, but Daisy. Like, how beautiful is that? That's just amazing. Um, the lipstick I'm wearing today is by Maybelline. It's called Delicious. And it's in the shade 323, so I just want to show you guys this before I put this lip gloss on because I really want to put it on right now. I like how their lip gloss ones are like black and not white. I don't know, I just really love the makeup store stuff. Um, then I got this awesome mint green um, eye pencil. And then from Sephora I got a travel size of my favorite shampoo and conditioner. This is by Caviar. It's anti-aging, replenishing moisture conditioner and shampoo. The It's also by Alterna. Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Goodness. So yeah, this is some of the best shampoo and conditioner in the world. You guys definitely should try it. The travel size ones are only 8 bucks each, so. Uh, Pro Long Wear Concealer in NW20. I took it out of the packaging. It doesn't match me right now, but that's my normal shade, so. I know, I, I look really tan because I got the Brazilian Tarte Super Size Me version. And you can get this on QVC. I don't know if it's still available. It's like a limited edition thing. I got it like a week ago. But um, it comes with the mitt. Which, yeah, that's why I'm so tan, guys, by the way. Uh, it's, and it's not, like, it's amazing. On my face, I use the Brazilian um, by Tarte Facial Self-Tanning Face Talents. And these are amazing. Oh, my gosh. You can't, like, get orange. I used to use the St. Tropez one all the time, like, last year and you can mess up with that because you'll, you'll see the streaks if you mess up but this one blends flawlessly and it's amazing and look look at all that product like that'll last me for years I feel like um, and it's just a really nice soft wash of color like it doesn't make you look like super dark but it gives color to your skin so it's really amazing and I recommend this to everyone, and I will definitely be repurchasing these like crazy because I'm obsessed with them. I, I use one like twice a week to keep my tan looking good. Uh, let's see what else I got. Anyways, um, I got another depotted eyeshadow and saddle. And then I got this really cute, this is the number, this is the mini mineral powder 45 and a half um, buffering brush by Sephora. Super I love cute. it for under eye concealer. Just blends it flawlessly. Um, I got another micro eyeshadow in Pink Frost. It leaves, it's like a pearlescent pink um, iridescent finish. I got this lipstick cream sheen by MAC. It's in the shade Modesty. <laughs> all us Muslim gals need to get this shade because it's the most amazing nude, okay, first of all. And then it stayed modesty, like, duh. Why wouldn't we want that shade? So, pick that up, ladies. Hashtag Nerle Love Modesty. If you get it. And show me. Because I think we should start a trend. We shall make that lipstick ours, okay? Just saying. Um, but thanks to Gabby for showing me that because one of my best friends, Gabby, she wears she wears that so that's how I found that actually um okay so this is some of the Sephora brushes I picked up they were on sale so I got them for like nothing this is the thin um what do you call it what do you call it angled brush I use it for the Anastasia dip brow it's the best because it's so thin and it's amazing um, this is like a 217 by Mac but it is the blending eye number 29 this is just a regular eyeliner brush really thin pointy one this is the number 17 pointed liner. I don't know if they sell it anymore. These are the old collection, so that's why they went on sale. This is a shadow brush, number 26. And yeah. I also got Sauvage. It's a lip liner by the makeup store. I took them all out of the boxes. And then I finally got um, 
an Estee Lauder double wear sample to try out, even though I need it only for like New York or something. I also got these um, bronze buffer self tan remover cube sponge things because I thought that I was scared of the tart stuff. When I finally did it, I don't need these anymore, so I'll just keep them around. But yeah, because you can't go wrong with this stuff, like you'd have to be a straight up dummy. Not even, maybe blind. Because, I don't know, you just can't, the, the formula just seeps into your skin beautifully and you see where it goes and I don't know. Like if you do mess up, get these because they really do work, but you can't with that. And the, the tan wipes for her face, they're amazing. I can't stress that enough. Alrighty, what else did I get? So I finally splurged and broke down. I think this was an investment for me. This is the Luminous Silk Foundation by Armani. And I got in the shade number four, but then I self tan, so now I can't wear it until I'm done tanning or whatever. So that's gonna have to wait for a review. But I've heard amazing things about it. I hope it lives up to its hype. Shall it? So yeah. Um, as you guys know, I was like in Atlanta for the hijabi stuff photo shoot, and I got some scars when I was there. This is one of them. This is the gray cheetah print. They just got came out with a bunch of new scarves. They're all on the website. Um, they're really amazing. Um, I got a couple of their new jersey ones because, I, you know, I'm obsessed. So they've got new printed ones, and this is one of them, obviously. Then there's the blue striped one, the black and white striped one, the gray and black striped one. Um, their head scarves are really amazing, so you guys really should check them out if you're looking for a good head scarf that'll keep all your baby hairs in but won't like squeeze, squeeze your brains out. Um, and they're really nice and soft, and it just keeps your hair in, even, and, and then it's got this, like, like it comes to, I don't know, how, how do you say that, like a cone, but not a cone, I don't know, it just, like, keeps your hair in, in that hole. One day I'm gonna have to do a tutorial on, like, Eman or something, to show you guys how I wear my hair under my hijab, because that makes all the difference in the world when you're trying to duplicate my hijab styles, if that makes any sense. Um... I got a brown jersey, which that's a new shade. Um, violet is a new shade, I believe. And then lime green, which I'm really excited about. That's a new shade. Uh, this is the navy. And then they've got new printed hijabs as well. These need to be ironed really badly, but <clears throat> it's like a solid print hijab. I'll be posting um, a lot of the pictures in the upcoming weeks, but get them before they sell out. Um, this is just awesome. They, these come in all kinds of colors, and so it's a solid color. Then it's got this cute little detailing on the end, and I've got the maroon and the gray one. And then this is just like a fuchsia. And they have this really cool infinity hijab that I didn't really care for a while ago, and then every time they put it on me, I'm like, oh, I love it. So I got a couple of those when I was there, and um, I figured out how to do... Um, a turban style with it and it's really cool so I'll show you guys that later um, just to give you guys a heads up inshallah I'll be coming to New York City uh, this month actually next Friday next Thursday Friday we're doing a big meet and greet I'll have the um, link for the event in the description bar all day um, it's Lisa Vogel from Lisa Vogel Photography has put the whole thing together. Mashallah, she's really amazing, really sweet person. I love her to death. Um, yes, Saz is going to be there. The Hijab Bengali sisters are going to be there. Um, I forgot who else. Maybe True Story ASA is going to be there. I'm not sure about them quite yet, but that's what I heard. Um, but we're all doing this meet and greet um, to raise money for charity. We did a charity project last Ramadan, and we're doing another one this Ramadan, but we wanted to kind of jumpstart it. So it's $25 for the ticket, and then so we get, like, we all get to hang out and, like, meet each other and stuff, and all proceeds go to the charity. So it's only $25. I know that's a lot for some people, um, but if you think about it, it's going to charity, so inshallah, you know going to a good cause so I'd love to meet some of you guys there um, and I'm really excited to go to New York City and that'll be in the description bar below also I'll be in Toronto in August um, 
So that will be in the description box below as well because you have to buy tickets to that. It's like a big fashion show event. Um, Dina Tokyo's going, Nora Tahili's going. Um, I hope I said her last name right. <laughs> I always feel like I'm butchering it. I'm going to have to ask her how she pronounced it. But um, her sister Hanan's going. Um, Bess McKay is going. I can't wait to meet all those amazing sisters. And it's men as well. It's men. Um, and I, I can't wait to see a picture of her baby. Inshallah, she's almost due. She, her baby is almost due. Not she's almost due. But yeah. So, all that will be down below. Thank you so much for watching this insanely long haul video. And inshallah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.